Hi guys, this is Rishab Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, I will show you that how can you use associative arrays with for each row. So firstly, guys, I'm gonna create an array. So I'll give it a name of students and uh, firstly error syntax and then firstly I write the key and then its value. We are using associative arrays. So suppose, guys, I'm creating a record of class and I want to find out that uh, the marks of the students according to the, according to their names. So I'll Write the second Kamran and I'll get, give it a value of means Kamran has killed 98 marks and then Nathan hundred and then last one is Maria and then write 98 and then I'll create one more. Uh, so, give it the name of current and I'll give it a value of uh, 98. Now, guys, in the last tutorial, we were using for each loop with simple arrays. We were doing like students as now. Guys, if I'll write the value here, you'll see what will happen. Value, you can make uh, use any variable. So, uh, firstly, I'm going to print this value and you will see the result. Refresh, you will see. Okay, I'm going to use a BIA tag here. You can see 99, 98, 100, 98, 98. It means it is just printing the values of every key. You can see 98, sorry, 99, 98, 100, 98, and 98. But guys, if you want to also print this key as well, means name. So what do you need to do? Firstly, you need to use, firstly you need to create a variable of name. Okay. But if I'll type name here, it will still print this value. So what do you need to do? You need to use this syntax of uh, associative arrays and you need to create one more variable. So uh, I'm going to create marks. So I'll write Firstly, name concatenate. So I'll write name as secured. Then again, concatenation uh, operator. Then marks. Okay, I'll give it a change the value of marks to value. And again, I will use concatenation operator and then I'll write marks means firstly it will go to the first one Rishabh has secured 99 marks we will go to the browser and refresh I'll use a B attack here you can see Rishabh has secured 99 marks Kamran has secured 98 Nathan has secured 100 Maria has secured 98 Karan has secured 98 marks means firstly the pointer will be mo will uh, move to the f uh, means will be on the first key means first element of an array then it will move to the second and then third then fourth and then fifth means it doesn't matter that how many elements are there suppose if I'll add one more variable here so I'll write Neil and oops, like I'll write 90 marks so if I'll go to the browser and refresh Neil has secured 90 marks means in this way you can use for each loop with associative arrays. What do you need to do? You need to make two variables. First, first variable you can make first variable for the uh, key and second variable for the value of the key. You can give it any name. So guys, this was about that how can you use for each loop with associative arrays. So guys, if you still have any question, you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below. So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos. Let's see in the next tutorial.